QSF PDD is really a significant upgrade to the current QSFP interface. QSFP is very commonly used for a top of rack interface in data centers. It provides the communications link between all the file servers within the rack, as well as providing communication to nearby adjacent racks. QSFP DD takes the QSFP, which supports a 100 gigabit interface with four 25 gig NRZ lanes, doubles the number of those lanes, so we double the, the bandwidth that can be supported. Um, there's an ever-growing demand for bandwidth. QSF PDD supports that trend by porting out all the differential lanes that some of the newer silicons are able to support uh, with an existing two-by-one structure. The Tor switch basically stays the same, and we add the upgraded two-by-ones, doubling the bandwidth. Doubling the bandwidth, however, also greatly increases power and that's been a real focus for the development of QSF PDD, managing the thermal performance of the connector. And that's really what we're demonstrating here today. It's a mini wind tunnel. We have a two by one QSF PDD with a module loaded top, module loaded bottom. Each of the modules is rated to 12 watts. We have a fan. The straws that you may see here are flow straighteners so that we can get consistent airflow through the device. We're drawing air through to cool the modules driving the power to the modules with two DC power supplies. Another power supply manages the fan, and then we have a temperature measurement that we're taking from each module to show that the T-rise that we see above the ambient temperature is acceptable for enterprise applications. We will be supplying QSF PDD primarily to existing customers. This is a significant upgrade in their drive to support infrastructure bandwidth, keep latency low, to support social networking. So basically it's gonna upgrade existing customers' capabilities, increase overall bandwidth, and support their need to satisfy their customers.